You ever wondered what taking your airbox cover on, off, adding holes ever does to your bike? Well, we got a KTM in this video for you because it's the easiest one to do it on. And I've got a whole data acquisition system set up on that bike that we're gonna show you more to the story than just the dyno results. So you're gonna wanna watch this thing all the way through because I guarantee you, you're gonna learn something or you're gonna confirm something. Let's get right to it and make some noise on this brand new, beautiful 2025 250 race motor. Before we get to the dyno charts, I wanna show you guys really interesting information. So this is our data acquisition setup, and um, this is like a couple different runs and whatnot. I've overlaid two runs. So what I did is I overlaid the airbox cover with no holes versus the airbox cover with holes. And I've also got the data, of course, with no airbox cover at all. And what I did is I matched up, here's the RPM. This little chart here in red is one of them, blue is the other one. I've overlaid them, if you look at that number up there, I have overlaid them to where they're about the same spot. I'm off by 13, 14 RPM there. You can't ever get it just perfect, but right, we dragged it and made the two charts overlay. This is what's really cool about data on the track, by the way, which is a whole nother story. So this basically lets us line up the air fuel ratios at the same spots. Now, here is air fuel ratio. That is lambda value. And if you know anything about lambda, what you do is you take your lambda value times the stoichiometric ratio of the fuel being used gives you your actual air fuel ratio as measured at the tailpipe. So lambda is actually a great way to do it because you don't have to account for different fuels air fuel ratios. Because by the way, these race gases do not have an idealized stoichiometric of 14.7 to 1. Usually they're high 13s or sometimes they're low 14s or whatever. We like to use lambda because it's universal. I started the run at a very slightly different time frame, but notwithstanding. We've overlaid it to where the RPMs pretty much match up, and now we can look at the lambda value. And what you can see is that when the airbox cover is vented, you have a little bit leaner lambda value across the board. Same dips and valleys and shape, just a little bit leaner, and then up top, almost no difference. At the lower end, bigger difference in the mid-range, like right here is at 11.5, and then as we get out here, it is different, but it's only about a percentage, so it's not very much. But down here, you're looking at about 2% right here, pretty significant, uh, almost 7% right here, way down low at uh, 5,000, 6,000 RPM. That begs the question, what's more important to what you feel when you change these parts out? Is it the actual change of power or is it the change that it does to your tune-up? So the dyno charts that I'm about to show you are not these dyno charts. The dyno charts that I showed you are when I equalize these lambda charts to the exact same values, which means that I had to richen up the airbox vented cover just a little bit and then that's what you get to see for the dyno results and i'll give you a little secret when you go to the track and you make your bike let's say three or four or five percent leaner it makes it feel snappier it's not actually making more power on the dyno but it typically makes the bike feel more aggressive more exciting and snappier so when you put that vented airbox cover on the stock bike it leans out that air fuel ratio across the board a little bit and makes the bike feel a little snappier. So the question then is, on a lot of parts and components, whether it be a pipe, whether it be fuels, or whether it be airbox covers, is that, is it the actual change of the part, or is it what the part does to your tune-up that you mostly feel? And I will tell you guys, if I were to go to the track, take the non-vented airbox cover and lean it out four or 5%, versus the airbox cover that's vented with the original fuel setting, so now they'll both be pretty equal, most people will say, that they really can't tell the difference between the two. The tune-up change makes a bigger difference in the performance. I'm giving away this gas cap right here. If you'd like to win that, well, details coming up. These are HP Race Development custom fathead racing gas caps, and they fit KTM group bikes. KTM, Husqvarna, Gas Gas 85, all the way through their 500 lineup, two-stroke, four-stroke, so long as it's the screw on top and not the push-button lock, which includes some Enduro models all the way back to 09. This is a huge amount of bikes. We're gonna give this away for free. All you gotta do, go to my website, hpracedevelopment.com and send me a contact through the contact form. Include as your title, free gas cap, or shoot me an email, harrisperformance at gmail. Free gas cap is your title. And then of course, include how to get a hold of you so that if I draw you to win, you can win one of these gas caps. We've got four to give away. I'm gonna give one away every video until we're out of those four for the next four videos we're doing. So make sure you shoot me an email 
you're gonna get a chance to win this free gas cap. What's cooler than that? These things are works of art, absolutely beautiful. And we really wanna thank Luke at Fathead Racing for helping us do this giveaway to showcase this beautiful American-made billet product. What's cooler than that? Moment of truth, brothers. This is the power difference between airbox cover on with the vents and airbox cover without the vents. And you can see that we make a little bit more power up top. Now I did a lot of testing, so this is consistent. It's every time, but all the way up the curve, you're just trading here. This is nothing and really nothing here. Uh, I could do a hundred runs and you'll see little differences like this, but every single time at the end of the curve, it made a little bit more power with the airbox cover with vents. So the big question is, well, if some vents are good, are no vent cover at all better? So we're gonna pull that up right now. And boom, Baron Yellow is completely removed. So what I'm gonna do is um, remove the one that has no vents. And now this is just vented airbox cover, which happens to be in green and no cover whatsoever in this chart at all in red. As you can see, again, these are little trades. This is just dyno noise. And uh, maybe you could argue that no cover was slightly better here. And what you see a lot of times when you pull these airbox covers off is that you get more little peaks and valleys in the curve because some of the resonances that are occurring have altered due to having the airbox sealed up or not. But the reality is in this situation that just that standard stock KTM vented airbox cover is sufficient to make all the power that you could make even if you had it off. So adding more holes is not really gonna help you, it just adds more noise. And I can tell you, you pull that cover off, it gets way louder. Well, that's it for this video, thanks for watching. If you wanna get that gas cap, make sure you shoot me that contact form and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I've changed shirts, it's a new day and a new bike on the dyno, so check back for some more videos in the near future. Thanks, subscribe, like, leave a comment. See you guys next time.